What's good, family? Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot of information to catch up on. We have about like three full Jaguar Wright podcasts of her straight exposing Diddy, these celebrities, and the whole nine yards. But today we're going to start off with this video right here. Is Jaguar Wright explaining the fall of Hollywood? The internet is the mark of the beast in ancient Egypt. So it seems like we get into some history here. But I'm more interested in the fall of Hollywood because we understand what happened in the beginning of this year with Cat Williams and how he was exposing, exposing a lot of celebrities. And what he say about Diddy? You gotta say no. You gotta say no. Now after that, we had Diddy getting exposed on his house, his homes getting raided, and then him also getting exposed on film of him doing what he had to, had to do. <laughs> he didn't have to do it. That's what he felt he had to do. He's wilding out of him doing crazy things. Being on Cassie the whole nine yards, so he got exposed for that. Now it seems like Jay Z and Beyonce may be getting exposed for something else, bro. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Let me make sure I connect my headphones. Alrighty, let's see what's going on. I'm at the Grove and I'm looking at self-driving passenger cars, Ubers, um, Lyfts. I'm watching robots take over the world. Yes, my mom was just talking about that out here in, uh, in Miami. They literally have robots just like roaming the sidewalks in like downtown Miami. I don't know what the hell they doing. They must just be like filming around or I don't know, bro. When you see um, Keefe D mm -hmm. trial about to start, Gene Dill speaking on the, the errors of what happened in the 90s. Um, you have child actors, Orlando Brown, things like that nature. For what he speaks, Gene, for what you speak, for what these other victims are coming out and speaking who don't have voices as loud as y'all, yours. Yeah. Um, what is the overall in result you feel happens once these voices get strong enough to reach the masses, the heavens, and let it rain down on society? Well, the truth is, is the program is programming. Um, I don't think we're taking into consideration exactly how active AI is in our society now. Um, I'm in LA, I'm at the Grove, and I'm looking at self-driving passenger cars, Ubers, um, Lyfts. I'm watching robots take over the world. I'm watching people, like for instance, perfect example, on my way here, you said the man put in the thing that he deaf. He put that he was deaf, Jack. Got it. So if he's deaf, we should not have been able to have a conversation. Not a fluid conversation where I can specifically ask him something and he can specifically answer me appropriately. That would be kind of hard for a deaf person to do, correct? 20 years ago. No. Okay. Chat, chat GPT 4.0. Got it. So <laughs> now, if he's deaf, even if he's wearing a cochlear implant, it should still be a slight challenge to have multiple conversations at one time. Jaguar, Jaguar, Jaguar. You, you, you're killing me, Jaguar. He asked you a question. Why are we talking about AI? How did we get to this point in conversation, Jaguar? We're talking about deaf people in the Uber. He's over here asking you about what's going to happen when these people actually start talking against these elites. You over here talking about a deaf person in the Uber, Jaguar. You must be doing too many of these podcasts at this point. We need to stick to the assignment. We're exposing the elites. Come on, Jag. Come on. You're killing me. I give him directions. And I tried to tell him a shorter way to get here without having to get onto the highway because he's still using Google Maps and not Waze. I don't understand. But no, I'm just saying. If you really want to get somewhere, you're going to use Waze. If you if you want to try to get somewhere, you'll use Google Maps. 
I use Google Maps. I don't know who the hell you talking about, Jaguar, but I use Google Maps, and I guarantee you, if we start from point A to point B, I'm going to be there before you. Guaranteed. 100%. I know how Maps works. And I'll be whipping this shit. To, you know what I'm saying? I'll be whipping it in my M4. Don't play with me, Jag. Stop talking down on Google Maps like that. No cap. Answer the question. And then you hear, in 350 feet, turn left. And guess what? I said, the human said, go straight. And he turned left. And I said, you really having a hard time dealing with this human versus AI thing. I said, what is it that makes you trusting? So trusting to trust what the machines say over the person who's actually driven these streets. Cause I was a Lyft driver here. I said, matter of fact, I was such a good Lyft driver. I could show you how to get to this destination without using GPS at all. Just listen to me. We drive a little further. Turn right. Go straight. He turns right. So I see you still struggling with this, this human <laughs> versus AI thing. Cause I, I could have told. You know, I'm trying real hard to, you know, I got it. I'm just so used to. And I'm like, wow. So when you told me the man was deaf, I was totally caught by surprise. I don't know. Maybe he won't listen to you, Jaguar, because you're not the GPS. You're the passenger. Stay in the back seat. <laughs> like, respectfully. Because <laughs> we had quite the conversation. And he made it very clear that when it came to taking directions, he wanted to get it from the Siri and fuck old Jag. <laughs> yes, man. Bitch, you a human. I'm going to trust this machine. You've been getting lost. This machine just had us sitting behind the train tracks for 20 minutes. When I told you to go up the street, we could have been there. We sitting on the train track. I'm like, yo, have you thought about backing up? I don't know, I'm late. <laughs> oh no, here comes the train. Yeah, but if you had to just told me, there was no train that way. That, that was no, I guess that's when he was deaf. I don't know. <laughs> Is selective deafness? I, I don't know. But whatever the case may be, I just think we need to embrace the fact that we're not keeping it real about our world. Um, we don't give a fuck about humanity anymore. We don't give a fuck about each other anymore. We trust humans more than we trust ourselves. And it says it in the Bible. The mark of the beast will be in the hand or in the head. The neural link is a chip that gives the human brain the ability to operate and function like a computer. Now, it's not easy to get. You might need a billion dollars. We need to make a video Elon on Elon will hook you up. You know, get you all AI ready. You don't even need a phone to make phone calls anymore. You don't have to use computers anymore. This is where the world is going. Motorola said last year, they made an announcement in March before I went into Parkland when my uh, second ex-husband had me registered as crazy and drugged for days. You know, just how it all know to see. <laughs> <laughs> but they said it, they made the announcement Starting 2030, all cell phones will be bio inside your right hand. You're not I. You bugging. Chip in your head. Chip in your hand. Yeah, okay. Tech. Knowledge is the mark of the beast. It's very simple. And yet people won't accept it. It says in the Bible, an intelligent man will know the number of man is 666. For whatever reason, humanity wants to believe that the only language that ever existed was the English language. There were a lot of languages that existed long before English. And numbers were invented late in the game of life and literature. It was all symbols, especially coming from Kemet, Egypt. The number six, the symbol for it, 
in Latin numerology is W. What did we used to have to type before they started making it a ghost so you didn't have to acknowledge you were writing 666, 666, 666, 666, all day, all night. What is WWW? What is it? No, that's what, that's the acronym we gave it. That's the acronym we gave it. It never had a name. What y'all think? You think, you think, Jago Wright is onto something. I'm following her. She's basically linking the mark of the beast to technology and internet. And the symbol for 666, she's saying Latin numerology is W. So she's saying that basically the internet in itself is being ran in a demonic way because of 666 or is being used to advance the the devil's agenda. Let's continue with what she has to say. And comment down below. You think she's onto something? Wow. It was just WWW. Somebody invented that World Wide Web shit. Anybody could put a name on something. What do you call it? A non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. What do I call it? A nigga don't ask. It means the same thing. I don't know if it means the same, does it? Why don't we want to accept what's right in our faces? Want to know why? Because motherfuckers get up and ask this a question before they ask God a question. Okay. Matter of fact, I know motherfuckers that's so fucking cold in this motherfucking system shit, that's so fucking caught up in the matrix shit, that they actually think they're praising God when they get online and start praising God for people to see them praising God, but didn't pray before they went live. You trusted, you needed to get on that technology before you even prayed and thank God. How many of us are guilty of that? Even me some days. Even me, like we're, we're there. <laughs> It says, don't bow down to any graven images. And I sat here and I proved to you, there's a young man whose music I love and his own lyric is, I would trade her love for a Grammy. That's tough. Real hey, life. Guilty of that. Overall though, like I understand what Jaguar Wright is saying. Like the world is heading into a place where Human connection is going to be very limited. Someone's going to trade someone's love for a Grammy, which means that they don't really value human connection for the most part. And that's definitely how it is in America. And I do have to say that when it comes to social media, propaganda, um, you know, like movies, they're mainly created in America and then they're spread throughout the world. And that's how people really know what's going on for the most part. But... When it comes to technology, you definitely don't want to get that chip in your head. You're giving another man control of your body 100%. I mean, even at the end of the day, when it comes down to the Teslas, you're giving another person control over your car. It is what it is. Like They, you, they definitely have a database at the Tesla facility where they can just shut off all Teslas as soon as they want to and literally control your car. It's, it's that simple. Now, imagine that with the Neuralink. They're going to have that, and then they're going to be able to control your mind. I mean... That's the goal of this entire thing, to control your mind and have you do what they want you to do, bow down to the devil, have you fit their agenda, have you become robots so you can continuously just give them, the, give them your energy and make them more money and then they just feel all powerful at the end of the day. So you have to think to yourself, what is, what, what's there to combat this agenda from these people that are currently running the world? Is God. You have to, you have, to have a belief in an entity that is way above these individuals that believe that they're all-powerful or working towards this all-powerful being of controlling this world and having it run the way they want it to run. That's why the dollar bill, it says order out of chaos in Latin. Right, right by the pyramid, right by the Illuminati pyramid, it says order out of chaos. Their main thing is to create chaos, is to create order out of the chaos that's going on. But it's their, it's their order, it's their world order. And... It's not God's order. 
God has a specific order on how he wants things to be ran when it comes to, you know, family structure, certain boundaries that you're supposed to have with people and individuals, not trading someone's love for something uh, like just physical. You get what I'm saying? There's just certain things that the way God ordered this universe to work, and they're literally trying to combat that. So the main way to combat what's going on right now, not falling victim to believing all these things and being mind controlled, is knowing that there's someone, an entity above these individuals. Which is God. Who you need to place your faith in. It's that simple, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do smash like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.